Welcome back to another episode of Support Nada's Friday, powered by Heineken, Live Your Music. I'm Ordain, and I'm here to keep you up to date on what's hot in music. You think I do a good job? Pretty good job. Yeah. <laughs> this week we have Shabazz. I finally, finally got him on the show. Thank you so much for coming, sir. I'm very grateful to be here. Uh, I should have been in it before, but I took my time and I'm here, so... Let me give the best interview ever. Good. Oh, I like it. The best interview ever. So let's get let's get it going. Shabazz, is that your actual name or is that your artist name? Uh, it's an artist name that I got as a nickname, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't really use my government name a lot, so I just introduce myself as Shabazz to everyone. To be honest with you, I think you have um, my like. I like your name more than I like most people's yeah. names. Shabazz is just like unique. You know what I mean? Yeah. I really really like your artist name. Uh, for me, it. it I actually picked it up uh, like through. I was studying on Malcolm, Malcolm X a lot, and mm -hmm. his last name is Shalaz. Oh, okay. Yeah, so when I when I when I, when I became one of my idols, and I was looking like reading into books from him, uh, documentaries, and I just picked up the name from friends. Okay, nice. So, so, let's move so it just grew on you. Isn't it amazing how you end up walking in the path and things just start to gravitate towards you? Yeah, because I, when I started using the name Shabazz, I think my selection of music changed. It became more like deeper, it had more meaning behind it. And then like when I did songs like towards Black Empowerment, it didn't feel out of pocket. It just felt it just it felt, felt good. Right. It felt right. And that's one thing I do have to say about you too. You, by far, are a lyricist, and I am a fan of your work. So. Um, what's the name of that video that you had out? Oh my goodness. Uh, smoke and mirrors. That's, yes, yeah. smoke and mirrors. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think I think that's why I invited you on the show the first time. Yeah, it was. From that from that video. It was so so good. Your lyrical content, your lyrical flow, how you acted behind the camera, it was just so captivating. And honestly we don't see that much in, in um in artists, especially new artists. That's true. I you think, know what I, mean? I think I think it's where a lot of people don't believe in showmanship mm -hmm. because it's just more than the music. You have to let people feel the energy when they watch your videos and they see you perform. So it's it's like drawing in a crowd just off without even having to say anything. Well to me too is also doing music that's true to you. Yeah. I think true. it comes across more authentic that way. Yeah, it does. I think we have a lot of artists that, you know, are doing music because it's cool. At the it's moment. cool and popular at the moment yeah. versus it's true to you. That's, that's and for me that's why I, I'm not good at covers. I am horrible at covers, but if you give me my own song to sing, I it's so much easier. It's right. It's just so much easier because it's true to me. Or you, or, or if I were to do a cover, it'd definitely be like an R and B. Yeah, See, you know what I mean. I think, I think it's it's easier when you go with songs where people feel more connected. Mm -hmm. uh, where when they hear it, they they think of something in their life that they've been through or whatever. That's why I feel like it's uh, relatable. It's relatable. That's why Drake getting so much, like play right now because he made a whole career off of reminiscing mm -hmm. and bringing up things where people would like know how to feel about that how they felt exactly and it helps out exactly because in most cases men don't want to admit those feelings that's and that and that's why men hate on Drake for the most part but it's true he, yeah. he's expressing what he felt I think I think I like I respect that too because I think that's why I went with one of my like actual first official projects was named love Life's only valuable emotion. Right. And I, I took the whole project to talk about past relationships, current, and like got out all my emotions and feelings towards it. I like it. Yeah. But it, it was different from, I think the only other person I feel that put on music in that realm would have been Sherwood and around the same time with Sherry. With Sherry. Mm -hmm. Nice. And that was actually, a and that's project. actually the, the, uh, the anniversary of Sherry's book well, yeah. to get him back on. Before we go further too, go ahead and tell them how they can find you so they can listen to Love and Smoke and Mirrors and what we're going to talk about next. Oh, well, uh, my YouTube page is Shabazz the Great. Uh, SoundCloud is Shabazz the Great. Uh, Twitter and Instagram is The Last Lukayan. And do I? Oh, I do have a Facebook. Uh, Shabazz is great on there too. I'm just Shabazz is great everywhere. If you want to, Google me. I'll be to the top of the page. Let's go ahead and check to see what we have going on this week. Welcome back to another episode of Support Knowledge Friday Entertainment Now, powered by Bahama Grill. Taste the islands. 
Now during the Valentine's Day weekend, Saw Your Boy TV put out a video that caused a bit of drama, maybe? Cindy Patrice Jackson certainly was not happy with her appearance on the show. Let's take a quick peek. I'm post me picture, but she can break the voice picture. And I made some screenshot, you understand me? Oh, if you can smash your past. Cindy, no, I ain't got nothing against you. It's my girl and everything, but I ain't one on it. Are you straight? Smash your past. So your boy, just to let you know, you're not my type, you understand me? First of all, you're too old. Okay? So that right there, right there, is a technical file. Now, do you think Sydney had a reason to be upset? Yes or no? Make sure to comment below. I am so excited to see what you have to say. This is Support Now This Friday, Entertainment Now, powered by Bahama Grill. Make sure to check out their weekly specials. You'll be surprised at what they have. Niggas see me like a Malcolm X. Women see me like a Malcolm yeah, Flex. Yeah. Young nigga trying to get yeah, a check. Yeah. Tell them niggas that I'm coming next. Whoa. Niggas see me like a Malcolm X. Whoa. Women see me like a Malcolm Flex. Yeah. Young nigga trying to get a check. Yeah. Tell them niggas that I'm coming next. Holy verses, now a nigga bless. Mama told me I was heaven sent. Hella handy when I'm in the club. Got a nigga leaving hella bent. New sneakers, I can pay your rent. Just to show you how a nigga flex. All black like a Mewy Newton. Know the brother taught me how to run a check. Niggas hating on the straight finesse. Side talk, I don't never sweat. Had some homies on the block like cornerbacks. Throwing bullets like they quarterbacks. Wavy nigga, I am so relaxed. I've been killing like a dev, match hell in the cell. Got some homies, I don't bail. I got balls like a cell. Touch your bitch, how to excel. Meanwhile, you fail. Boy, you used to taking nails. Polo on me, no designer. Need a pretty Barbie looking like Rihanna. Cutting like a tiny straight at the Bahamas. You be running on. I be talking commas, homies holding hammers. Ready from the bangers. We don't talk to cops and we don't rob a strangers. Only if and yemen. Boy, I know the dangers. Power like a ranger. Loud in my container. No way they can blame them. No way they can tame them. All these niggas faking, that can shan't attain them. Niggas talking wild and I don't really rate them. Get your that's a chance to pick your ultimatum. FGB forever. We the way forever. Every nigga switched on me. I don't hate him. Bless. All right, so we're back. Now tell me, why are you here today? Which project are you talking about today? Well, for right now, I'm talking about uh, the new video release, Malcolm Flex. Malcolm Flex after Malcolm your... Flex. After my item, my, Malcolm, uh, Malcolm X. X. <laughs> so it just, it just kind of fit into play because I think I had the song from... I released the song at the start of last year. And I had the song at the end of the year previous. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know what to do with it. I had the beat for a year previous. Mm -hmm. And I was just sitting on it. And I, one day I was in the studio running through beats. And I came up on it. And like the very start of the intro, I asked, so what's your name? And he says, Malcolm X. And the song just clicked from right there. Right, I was this song came up. Put it together. Nice. And I think for me personally, that's one of my most strongest lyrical attempts with like more trap based music mm -hmm. because I like I like retrospective music more or less for me. Okay. And then in the video you have a lot of cameos. Like a lot of cameos. Yeah, Go I ahead, list some of them off. I know we, um, have we have Stunner. Stunner. We have Sean P, mm -hmm. we have Shalon and we have Angel. Okay. Uh it felt good to have them be in the video and then along with like other people from the neighborhood because it's more than just me. I, like I have a support team. I have I have a support group by me. I have people that want to hear my music and always asking for new music. And it feels good to have them in the video because they are going to feel good showing other people the video because exactly, they're exactly. And the and the and the um the music itself is very deep mm -hmm. and it resonates with a lot of people. You know, yes. so I think I think it's gonna do very well. And I know the video is good too. We're gonna make sure to show everybody a clip. So <laughs> hold on to your seats. You're gonna see a clip of the video. Um, but what else? What do you have going on in the future? What is your path as an artist? Well, my path is not as I do plan to release a solo project. Okay. Uh, at later in the year, probably. But I do have a collab coming out next month. Hey, okay, who? Stunner. With Stunner. Yeah. So nice. I like Stunner. He's yeah. on my show too. I like him. <laughs> we have the project actually named Supreme Wheel. Okay. So it's a mixture of uh, him with. It's Supreme shit, and then me with We The Wave or Wave Music. Okay. So we just combine it together to try to make the best of it. I know if we could bring Stunner into my realm of music, so I'll just be enjoying myself on his side of the track. On his side, yeah. Yeah. That would be sort of interesting, though. Yeah, because I, I don't That would be I, sort of interesting. I'm excited to see it. Yeah. I'm excited to see it because now, we, I mean, now that you, you know, you made it clear that it's true. He ha he's more into the, the, the trap. trap music and you're more 
honestly, I, I'm, I'm telling you, smoke and mirrors, every time I sing, I was like, Biggie. This is yeah. so Biggie. You know what I mean? And Biggie's my favorite artist. Favorite rap, art, rap, er, rap artist. What are you doing to me, sir? <laughs> anyway, so when I see it, it's like, so to see you guys come together, mm -hmm. um, it, it's going to be very intriguing. Yeah, I think it's going to be really good. I think there's a song on the project that no one will be expecting because it's, it's more my song. Put the hair stun on it, just cleans on everything. So I'm really you excited. excited. <laughs> I'm really you excited. excited. Have to have this you have me excited. We put a lot of time and effort into it, and we've put a lot of energy. We've had a lot of arguments because sometimes when you want, like when you have a vision for a song, and then someone else has a different vision, yeah. But I think that's what helps to make it a cohesive project. Nice. They help build it because you can't just have one builder and someone else pointing. And then two, that makes you closer as a, as a group and as a team as well too. Because Listen, once we all come together as artists and we respect each other's roles, we respect each other's creative um, outlook and, and, and content and we, and we come together, we can make this industry something massive, you know. I believe so. We can make this industry something massive. Because we're already, we're already at the, the foot of it. We were yeah, really at the door, so we just need to get the door open and continue. Get forward. it open, we need to bust it open. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like <laughs> if the if Bahamian artists would like work the way Atlanta artists do, because Atlanta I artists, thought only me thought that. <laughs> like Atlanta honestly, artists, Atlanta artists work with a lot of. If I get on, I help someone else. Somebody get else up, exactly. They help someone else get on, so that's exactly. that's a continuing effort. I mean, the shows. I mean, we gotta close, but that's exactly what I've been saying. I went to Atlanta. I'm doing the A3C, did I say right, AC3, A3C, and the BET Awards, and just to see how everyone came yeah, together. There were, it was almost like no one was seen as competitors. Yeah, it was more, more like a, family event. a family. So you having a show, I'm coming to make sure and support you, mm -hmm. and then, okay, when my show is over, I'm going to go ahead and come to your show. What time does your show start? Okay, so I'll start my own two hours later. And that's what it has to be. It has to be that, and and, and that's the grounds that we're supporting on this Friday was built on. It was built on if we all come together as artists mm -hmm. and support each other and purchase each other's music, we'll comment on their pages forward. and do all that, we can create our own industry. That's true. Man, you just made my day. You just made my day. <laughs> this is Support Nada's Friday. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, and purchase. We all need support. Why not start by giving some? Hercules to fight the rising heart. I need a hero. I'm holding up for a hero. To the morning light. He's gotta be sure and it's gotta be soon. And it's gotta be light.